Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on Mobile Legends Adventures. Um, I know I deleted this game and I and I kind of dissed it, but uh, I recently came back and visited the game because I felt like I kind of judged it really fast and harshly just because everything that was going on with Mech Arena and Dislight and that is still going on. Um, but yeah, I just came back and took a look at the game, you know, compared it to other games and realized this game is actually one of the best games out there. Like, for a turn-based RPG game, um, that is a 5v5, you know, battle system, and, you know, has characters, you upgrade them, and you do the whole star system level or whatever, every, you know, thousand of thousand versions of this game that is out there and in their own way like this slide and whatever um yeah very similar but you know they have their own unique way they've been around for a while it's been like two three years since they've been around um so they kind of died down a little bit because they were they had like this whole plan to release legendaries but they they took a while um and they've this year started releasing them so <laughs> More people started coming back for the first one, the Achilles Alice events, but people started leaving afterwards because they realized the company's doing the same thing that Dislight and Macarena are doing, where they're only releasing pay to win content. Now, I know it's new content. I know they're releasing legendary heroes. Like, we don't have the ultra rare legendary heroes in this game yet. Um, like I've shown you, these are all epic heroes. Like, if you go to the gallery, there's only two legendary heroes in the game. All of these other characters are epic. So, you know, it's weird to think about because before these are technically the epics. There were there are five stars, so technically they were they're the legendaries, but they're epic. Um, and then the epics were were these guys, the elite heroes. But um, yeah, I, the these elite heroes didn't last long anyway because they give you enough free five stars to start your own team anyway. And you don't really use these characters other than fodder. Like, literally, fodder is the only other thing I've seen these characters used for. I haven't seen one that's maxed out. Um, yeah, like, it's, it's pretty much rare to see that. I've only seen it once where I've seen one very close to max out secret rare hero. Other than that, the super secret rare epic heroes are the ones that everybody uses. Um... But yeah, they started releasing the legendary heroes. As you can tell, I don't have Achilles Alice because I got here like at the end of the event. So it was very hard for me to justify spending 5,000 gems trying to get this one hero where I could get a ton of other heroes and fodder, even if I don't get a lead or an epic hero from uh, the normal draw. So it was much better for early game. But yeah, if I got there like maybe at the beginning, I could have probably gotten one or two copies of her, which would have been good. But uh, yeah, the the fact is though that I saw the same thing. It's basically fifty dollars to get base copy of a legendary, and they start at six stars, not five stars. So you know, they have that premium kind of feel for them. And um, well, it costs five thousand to even have a chance, five thousand diamonds to even have a chance to get one of them. So you have to save up a decent amount. So now, like, I've, I've realized that you can save up, like, I don't know, like, almost 80k diamonds before each event. The only thing I say is interesting about that is that they do release the epic heroes beforehand. And generally, maxing those out is much more rewarding and easier because you can pretty much get awakened epics, like, every single... <laughs> like, if you're super late game, you could probably do that and get a couple legendaries. But for the most part, if you're just a, like starting late game, you can max out an epic like pretty easily for for each event. Um, Cause like, look, so I'm gonna show you my accounts again. Uh, I've been playing a little bit, so it's gonna look a lot different than a lot different <laughs> than what it did before. So, um, Ast Astaria Cipra, I now I have her at Awakened level two, so I got more copies of her. Guinevere, I ate uh, some, I think it was Fanny. 
and then some some other three star. I think it might have been a uh, rough Falia, like the normal one, not the new one. We'll go over that in a second too. So now she's ten star as well. Nana is ten star because I eat my um Akai. I couldn't get him to four star, so I decided to eat him because I got a four star or sorry nine star Esmeralda. I couldn't get Akai to nine star, so I ate him by feeding him to Nana, which is one of my better heroes anyway. Esmeralda is also better than Akai just as a tank, like solo tank. Akai's better as overall support. Um, but in most events, you can get shields pretty easily. So using Akai is kind of early game. You don't really need him late game. So yeah, now I have a full waifu team, uh, which is not exactly what I was going for. But uh, they're, they're, they're one of the, some of the most broken waifus in the game. So <laughs> um, yeah, that's that's the reason why I'm using them, because they're, they're pretty disgusting on the same team too. So... Um, let's just go over, well, I've already gone over, it, I mean, I have to go over my whole team now, because it, it's changed, so basically my team now is, um, tank, energy, steel, support, kind of, with, with speed, cleave, but with also, it, it, it basically, it, it's hard to explain, but it covers so many areas that it, it's, because it's also Astaria Sipper is kind of a loose cannon. Like sometimes she can be mediocre, sometimes she can be yeah, but sometimes she summons like a double another Nana. <laughs> and then I have double Nanas, and now my team can't really die because they're just being double healed by Molina. Or sometimes she summons them at the right time so that Molina's up all the time. So either the Nana she summoned or the Nana I have on my actual team is using that character is so really broken like that. Or you get another Esmeralda or a Freya. So you have a more damage dealing tank front. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of disgusting and broken. <laughs> um, and yeah, I can definitely still fight teams that have higher power. Because I have the revive and the healing from Nana. And then Nastaria Cipra also can provide a decent amount of healing. Since, you know, most supports are healers. Um... And then she also provides some damage. So yeah, and uh, Freya and Esmeralda are pretty much sustained characters. So you know, Freya's like I have the volume pretty low right now. Um, but you, oh god, it's the record button is right next to the, <laughs> her skills. So yeah, um, and the thing is, this game is not. I mean, yeah, it's still pay to win. Like you can still pay to win, but it's not pay to play. It's very free to, free to play friendly. Um. Just they have a lot of advertisement, like their skin stuff is very. They got I got this for free. That's pretty much all I can get. Everything else costs money or is coming soon. Oh, this might come in the next patch actually. Sacred Spring. Oh no, this is twenty twenty two. So I was just I just wasn't there for that. This is a really cool skin though. That's such a cool skin. That's a really cool skin. Oh, that's so cool. I love blue flames. Blue, well, blue's my favorite color, but I just love blue flames in general. Um, but yeah, so that's basically my team. Guinevere steals energy, sixty points of energy on the enemy, which is disgusting. Like she is one of the most broken characters because you you get the potion potion of nature pretty easily. You can also level it up to level two. Like they they have like some. Uh, not tutorial, but just showing you how, I guess, tutorial um stuff like, but it, it goes as you unlock. So it doesn't just show you like at the beginning, it shows you when you unlock this. But once you unlock the artifacts, it shows you this and uh, yeah, pretty cool. And also the thing I love about this game is that there's a lot of like sharing between your heroes, whether that's levels, whether that's gear, whether that's um artifacts. Artifacts are most notably the easiest. I think I have to wait till I get to the gear. And then there's the whole, like, other tree stuff. So I'll talk about that in a second. But, yeah, so these three characters. So two characters on my team are using the potion. So two characters that need to get to their ultimate pretty quickly. Or they they don't rely heavily on their ultimate. But it just... After they use their ultimate, they basically maximize what they do best. Um, and, yeah, obviously, Eo Silviana is, is no exception to that rule as well. But yeah, basically gives them 20 energy when the battles start, or 120, because I have a level 2 now. Um, and yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So they get, And they gain 
10% dodge and 10 life steal. You don't understand how ridiculous that is. So now top that off with the fact that she's going to reduce the energy's target by 60% every time she hits them. And now every time she casts her ultimate, she's going to gain 120 energy. So it's a thousand energy, I think, to the beginning. So basically, well, she has the 80, so, oh no, she gains 120. So she gains 120 multiple times. So this is good. Redundancy just increases, it basically speeds up how fast she can get her ultimate up. Increases her damage output because that's how she works. Um, and then, yeah. That, so that's basically it, and she she does a lot of basic and ultimate attacks in general. So now that I have her at level 20, she's going to stop the energy restoration. So, again, in tune with what my team is doing, which is keeping my team alive as long as possible, because the Star of Cipra needs to summon, like, the three heroes so we can dam maximize our healing or our damage output to, you know, overtake the team in either one. Um, and then... She's also decreasing their energy with her basic. So it's just a lot of stalling um, with her. So very good. And uh, she deals a ridiculous amount of damage. It's disgusting. But yeah, basically, I mean, you guys can read her skills. I've already gone over her, done a whole review on her. But she is one of the most broken characters I, I have. Um, she does continuous damage, basically. She's she's kind of... She's damage debuff, not... Kind of burst, but she needs to land the debuff in order for it to burst. And that's like the little numbers you see when she lands her debuff. Um, and yeah, she restores her energy very quickly with this skill. This skill is disgusting energy wave. Um, and then yeah, Esmeralda kind of does the same thing. So I'm kind of going over them because they changed. But uh, yeah, Freya, Nana, and Astaria do the same thing. Astaria summons support or other heroes to help me, you know, heal or do damage like I said. Nana revives and heals, and uh, Freya is a tank that heals herself and uh, shields herself, stuns, and uh, does AoE damage. That's pretty much it. Um, so I've already gone over those characters, but these characters I kind of tuned a little bit. Esmeralda gives herself energy, so you know, giving her the potion, now she gains 160 points of energy, basically at the beginning of battle, because she'll lose 10% HP, Usually very, like, within 5 seconds of battling if you're on a speed-up mode. So, like, 10-ish seconds. Um, well, usually by then she already has her ultimate. But it basically just makes makes it so that if she takes damage, she gets her ultimate. If she doesn't, it doesn't matter because she'll get her ultimate and then she won't take damage because that's how her ultimate works. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, her level 20 is kind of broken, so I'm trying to get there. And then her level 50 is disgusting. So, also trying to get there, but... That's the next step. Now that I've gotten Guinevere's energy stopping level 20, now I have to get hers to level 30. Um, and then probably a Freya, and then we'll go after Freya's, because Freya's are pretty pretty disgusting too. But um, yeah, this this combination of characters is just gross. Um, but yeah, that's probably it for the... like. As far as in depth I'll go on my account review, like I can go over other characters, but um, yeah. Another thing that is pretty easy to get that I didn't realize is um is actually the hybrid heroes. I have a decent amount of them, so I have every single one now except for, of course, the two heroes that I hate that I that I was basically playing this game for, which is another reason why I quit it. The one reason why I downloaded this game is because I saw Bell Cranell and Eyes Vonstein, and I was like. Okay, they have Danmachi IP, so they're going to have him in this game. Yeah, they have him in this game for everybody who was there for like the freaking three weeks that that event was up. Everybody who wasn't there, well, too bad. And everybody who wants to get them now, too bad. Whatever fusion you got on them then is then basically just a money grab, Um, which I, I think it kind of sucks. I hope like they should they already own the IP, so I don't I don't understand why they don't put it. They would make more money, too. Like I would I know. Hundreds of thousands of people who love Don Machi, who would love to play this game if those characters were here. And they're they're pretty broken characters too. So honestly, even I would spend money on them. So it's just something that they aren't taking advantage of. Like, it's that simple. Um Yeah, so that's one thing they have to do. They also have to add like another pool for the legendaries. 
I understand they want to make money, which is fine, but they still have to make some way, some way for free to play to get them. Um, if it's like impossible to get them, then that's really like there's no point in even doing the draw at that point. So they have to make it possible for free to play to get it and reliably. Like I would say, one legendary a week for late game is pretty decent. Um, considering that you get epics pretty easily. If you want characters to stay in the game and not feel like significant slowdown, um, because it does slow down a decent amount, so any more slowdown, and I feel like this game will be too slow late game. Um, have I covered all my bases? I mean, yeah, and uh, if you're not here during the events, like you, like there's pretty much not much to do, other than like campaign stuff, um, caustic ruins and. Like, you know, basic stuff, Tower of Babel, Labyrinth, so like normal stuff that you do every two days, maybe daily if you're really invested in the game. But yeah, it, it's just something like, you know, to keep you busy playing the game. Um, but yeah, when there's events here, it's it's amazing. The game is basically like a thousand times better, which, um, you know, I don't understand. Like they could just release the events continuously, but... If they're making the events this good, then, you know, I, I would say quality over speed. So definitely, yeah, I guess quality over quantity because the amount you release will increase if you're going faster. <laughs> but the quality will decrease because you're not spending as much time. Um, So, yeah, and they just have to make the legendary heroes a lot easier to get. I feel like that's pretty much like what will solidify this game as one of the best games um but it's slowly turning into again like every other game out there which is why the player base has been dying over the past few months um which is why i quit initially because i was like well if they're just going to continue giving us a pack that you can buy this hero for legendary hero for 50 dollars and then five thousand gems to try and draw get a very small chance of getting a legendary hero i got two copies of this hero or three i think the base, and then two copies to get her to seven star. I got three copies, and I spent... Well, let's go, actually, to um, the events. Because um, I think it's the shop, Prologue to Eternity. So here, I exchanged already. Because th this is what you do every event when they release the legendaries now. This is the only free-to-play way to get these uh, scrolls, the Eternal Scrolls, so that you can go to the Eternal Draw and get the legendary heroes. So they give you some discounts, obviously. So twenty five hundred for ten, and then thirty seven fifty for another ten. So you know, right around there, that's like six thousand two hundred and fifty um, diamonds. So that's not bad. You get twenty draws. That's not bad. The thing is, it's five thousand for basically every other draw, um, unless you got some sacred scrolls, which aren't insanely hard to get. But again, you only get a hundred draws. And I basically maxed everything out except for these because I didn't have a lot of Sacred Skulls. Again, I don't have them because they're still very late game. Like, I don't have a lot of them because they're very late game to get again. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So you're able to get at least 12 if you grind really hard, which is what I did to get these. Even then, like, I had to grind really hard for the diamonds just to get all those Eternal Scrolls. So I had 120 draws. I got three Legendaries. Which actually is, like, I'm doing the math on that. So, like, I did the math on that, like I said. Um, and it got me thinking, like, that's actually not that bad, actually. If you think about it, that's pretty lucky. So, if we go, well, I can't even see the draws now, but I guess I can show you the, what the normal draws. So, this, basically what this would be, but um, for the legendary. So, it is like a 2.2% chance. I think it was... 1% for the legendary maybe it was the same but again very low chance this is still better than this life by the way 2.2% 2, 2 .2 chance to get a legendary so much better it's just ridiculous um and even then you get guaranteed copies anyway so like something that this light doesn't do literally you can draw 50 draws and get two copies it's ridiculous and they give you a free one so again, another free-to-play thing. 
you get gifts from the Mirage. So you just get a free copy of the new hero. So th th that's just so nice. Um, and she's a hybrid hero too, so she's not weak to anything. Um, but she's strong against dark and tech, I think, or martial. One of those two. Um, but yeah, very good. And uh, she's probably one of the better heroes that is part of the event. Because they also... They give you two free copies, actually. I was lying. Because if you go to Hero Awakening, for 32 days, so you guys should probably start now. For any free-to-play accounts, you could basically get her to like 8... Sorry, 8-star, eight 9-star. And like you have a solid support hero now. Now you have you have no need for another healer because she will do everything you need. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of ridiculous. And the way I say that is because if you go to campaign, um, you gain a lot of di diamonds for the stages. I think it's like 3K or something like that. Well, here, there's 45 stages. And... You go through 45 and what every five eight times 250 is 16 wait no 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 four would be Two thousand, so you get like four thousand. So you get five thousand. You get around five thousand um diamonds, and maybe later. I don't know about early game, but it's 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 around that. I think it's around it's around three k at least. Um, but you get a lot of diamonds, and in the early game, it's pretty easy to clear each chapter. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty late, chapter thirty four. So you gain a lot, and you get an epic hero. Again, they give you so much free stuff. This is basically what dislike never was. They give you free stuff, and even then, people spend so much money on this game because you can, but it's the fact that they give you so much stuff. And to be fair, I also said to myself after I deleted this game, wait a second, I haven't even been playing this game for a whole year, and I'm already saying that it's bad and deleting it, considering that this light itself is like a thousand times worse. <laughs> Shittier draw rates way less free to play support because they do give you I mean they give you epics in this game too but they're they're basically legendaries at this point they haven't even released five legendaries for for you to have a full legendary team to overtake every other epic team so they haven't done that yet and even then like you have to have probably those legendaries very close to max style which is really hard so again still very free to play friendly so I think I just jumped the gun and so did a lot of people um uh, but yeah, it's still pretty free to play friendly. It's still fun to play. Like, I've been having fun, which is why I recently started playing it. And uh, now I have a pretty decently broken team and, and can do some fun stuff. And then, yeah, all the hybrid heroes, I basically have almost. Oh, sorry, not here. Wait, was it here? No, it was a uh, fusion shrine. I clicked the wrong thing again. <laughs> so you got hybrid heroes. So yeah, I basically have all of them at 7 stars, except obviously Astaria Cypra, she's already awakened. And then I just have two heroes, so I can basically make a full hybrid team, which is awesome, because these, these heroes are pretty broken. It's kind of funny how they're all, you know, females. I have nothing against that. Waifus are amazing, you know, that's that what, that's what brings in the money half of, half of the time, um, especially for all the skins. But can we get, can we get a guy? hybrid hero come on um and they're always like insanely broken like having these characters max is so good the legendaries have all been hybrid too so Achilles alice was a chaos dark hero eo silvano was a light order hero and i hope um they don't continue that trend i hope they add some of the elements because that'd be cool maybe they can do a um Hmm. I mean, they've done most of the combinations, so I guess they haven't done Mar well. They did do Martial Knight, so here's the problem: they keep adding new like hybrid types to the game, but they still haven't given us the chances to get Bell and Eyes. So if we go to, like I've shown you guys before, but if you go to the gallery and you just go to like 
hear the elemental. They already have like the elemental the hybrids flushed out for the most part. Because they have elemental marshal, elemental they have two elemental marshals actually. I'm pretty sure <laughs> oh, Nimbus Eudora is also marsh yeah. <laughs> elemental marshal. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, they need to add those heroes in the game. It'll make them more money. It'll bring people back. It'll be insanely good. And then for old players who have these heroes not maxed out, it'll be insanely great for them. Um, also, another thing I, I didn't realize is that, um, yeah, I turned off the, I didn't turn off the old ultimates. Oh, this part of the anime. See, like, this is so beautiful and awesome. Like, this is amazing. Um, and then same with, uh, Belle. Like, they have all these cool animations and stuff. Yeah, straight from the anime. Like, that's perfect. Um, And I know they just made their own game, Danmachi. It was a very cool game, by the way. But this game feels a little bit cooler, in my opinion. Not not to diss them, but uh, that game needs to be a little bit more optimized. It is a lot newer, though. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's... uh. That's pretty much everything they need to do to fix the game. There's in all the stuff that I talked about that's free to play friendly. Um before we finish though, I guess I gotta continue with the events. So yeah, the events, they have login rewards. Um, so you can get like, you know, some order heroes. Sometimes they have the hybrid heroes. I think they always have the hybrid heroes for login, uh, for the 21 day login. And then you get like diamonds, like you get it's better for early game, obviously. For late game, it doesn't really matter. But if you consistently log in, it's still pretty good. And then Hero Awakening when they have it. Um, for the Metal Shop, they don't have this often. But this is good for late game. They have their Mirage code. So they give you, they just give you diamonds. Like, Actually, yeah. Um, it's going to be unlocked in four days. Okay, yeah. You get diamonds. Like, They give you a lot of free stuff. And, um, like, it continues. So, like, if I go back to Heroes as well, you can go to M Meritus, sorry, Metorius Road, Meritus Road. Meritus, that's such a weird word. Um, you get a lot of stuff, and actually, you get pretty crazy jumps. Like, 3k diamonds is ridiculous. Um, and then you also get, like, this stuff, which is good for late game. It's, it's good for me now. Um, and then you get diamonds. So yeah, it just, and it's just you upgrading your heroes. That's simple. <laughs> so it benefits people who pay money very quickly, but people who don't, then it just benefits you when you get there eventually, which is where I'm not, where I am at now. So very good. Um, and then, yeah, they have like other stuff for free to play. Like it's all like stuff that you can get if you pay money, obviously, but it's still really good. So People just need to come back, I think. I think I judged harshly, so I do apologize. Um, yeah, maybe their animations are a little... They need some updates. They, or they need to fix the whole thing. So here, here's the problem, right? So I, I can skip this. Oh, okay, well, I guess it'll just skip the battle. Um, I can skip this, but I'm not going to skip it. And the thing is, it's a two times battle now, but there will be no animation until I take it off. And then... Wait. Ultimate, please. There we go. I haven't shown this before, but yeah, the here are the here are the animations, and that one's kind of sketch, but this one's pretty cool. She becomes like a black hole. It's really cool. <laughs> and yeah, Gornevers is cool too. But yeah, um, so yeah, I never showed the uh, ultimates. So yeah, here here they are. Pretty cool. And yeah, I like Astaria Cypress too. That's pretty cool they do they do pretty good for the hybrid heroes but yeah that's uh this is pretty much it like they need to make it so that when you do two times speed you can still have the animations but you can turn them off if you want like i still think that's they should do that yeah because i've never shown that to you guys which is just funny but yeah really cool um yeah maybe they can update the animations though they're a little Splotchy, in my opinion. There's there's a lot of games out there with better animation. That's all I have to say. Um, the battle system, otherwise, is pretty skill-based. So as long as you know how to fight against heroes, that's pretty good. There is, of course, the stack gap, but 
you know, that's going to happen with every game that requires you to have heroes that you stat up. So... <laughs> I mean, other than that, there's not much else. Um, yeah, free to play friendly people should come back. It's 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 a really fun game still. Like I'm still having fun, and uh, if you come back now, even and if you join now for new to for free to play heroes, you're gonna be able to max out Nyad Rafaela, which is a really good hero that they just released a new hero. Um, so I have her, but let's just go to. You know what? Yeah, let's just go to six star Rafaela. So hybrid hero, which is very good because we haven't gotten one in a decent sec. Um, but yeah, she's basically like her counterpart. So this, actually, let's go back to the gallery. So if we go to the gallery and you scroll all the way to down to secret rare heroes, the rare heroes, you can see Rafaela is actually here. She is a light hero, um, and she's a healer as well. So she's actually one of the First healers you get, and uh, pretty basic at the beginning. She pre pretty much just helps you with everything. Um, but yeah, they they definitely needed to make her more viable. Other than that, she's basically fodder. So here's what they do: they make a alternate version of her, and they're doing the same thing with the epics and making them legendary. So I fully support it if the heroes are good and they still synergize, and they basically do the same thing, but they're just better versions. Like I a hundred percent agree with it. Um, it doesn't make the other heroes less viable. It just, it's just a different niche. Maybe for the legendary, but for the rare. Well, I guess the rares are already useless. So they just this just makes them more useful, or at least gives them a useful version of them. Um, but yeah, she heals. That that's pretty much it. And shields, um, regen like really good. Increases attack of the highest ally, uh, ally with the highest attack. Um, gives them energy, like this is really good. Actually, two heroes. So probably the front two heroes or, you know, your mages if you have any in the back. Um, gain regeneration, you go to 70% of her attack and gain defense, you go, oh wow. Yeah, that's really good. And then they get, yeah, so basically there's just a lot of healing. And the best part about it is it's damage triggered energy regen. Because, you know, for heroes, you can basically build your heroes very, very high attack stats. And it doesn't matter how much HP they have because they're dealing so much damage, they just heal it all. So <laughs> that's basically it. Um, And then, yeah, her ultimate does this heals again. And uh, Exus, so when... These are passive, a part of her ultimate, which I say is one of the best things about her. It's so broken. When Diet Raphaela's skills provide healing to allies, 100% of excess healing is converted into shields. So broken, so good. Um, so basically, this just means that everything she does is better, and it applies to all of her skills. So, yeah, probably for beginners, one of the best heroes to get. Oh, we didn't even look at her uh, item. So it reduces her energy cost of her ultimate by 400 points. That's basically half. A thousand is a uh, full energy when you activate your ultimate. So insane. So now it's 200 points. You basically give her the potion of nature and she can activate her ultimate as soon as the battle starts. Literally. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Literally instantaneously. Oh, sorry. I had to turn this around. Yeah, that's uh that's kind of disgusting. When Nyad Raphaela's skills generates excess healing for allies, increase her attack by 0.5% up to a maximum of 40%, lasting up to the end of battle. Yeah, that's that's decent, I guess. Um Yeah, that's uh that's that's pretty decent. It increases their attack, generates access healing, and it lasts till the end of the battle. So yeah, she's she's very good. If you can get her to awaken, like you basically have yourself the best well, I wouldn't say the best support. I would say she's actually second to a star. Star is probably the second best support. Well, I mean Achilles Alice is probably the best, because <laughs> she is the legendary, but I meant viable support. 
Astaria Cipra is probably the first because she can heal um, summon heroes. So, oh. and she's like immune to stuff. So she she's just a very useful support hero. Like if you're just playing with another healer, and just in most team comps, most support comps, like you want your team to sustain tank comps. She's very useful. Um, but yeah, I, I judged the game way too way too fast. That's pretty much all I wanted to say. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, AOG Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please like subscribe. Really shows your support. Helps me out. Keeps you up to date on my content. 118 subscribers last time I checked. So you guys are amazing. Keep going. And um, yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, FYI, my computer broke. Plastic. Dropped out of my hand. A wire. Like, it was a ribbon cable. It, like, popped out. I had to want take apart the computer, which I did not want to, but eventually did it anyway, and I, my dumbass, forgot to unplug the computer or even turn it off. So when I was plugging in the cable, of course, I didn't do it straight, and then it shorted something out, and now the computer is just fucked. So literally, it's trash. Like, even if I take it back, I would just have to pay for them to reset it, and that costs more than what I paid. So I should just get a new computer. So... Yeah, that, that's where we're at. I do apologize. Sadness. Just, just straight sadness. Um, yeah, well, anyway, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later.